I'm a believer that while sometimes you make a leap and a bound, it's very important to just keep making small steps in the right direction. My name is Martin Edelman. I am chair of the Department of Hematology Oncology at Fox Chase, and I uh, am a medical oncologist uh, with a focus in uh, thoracic oncology. One of the things that Fox Chase has always been known for is that expertise and excellence in clinical research and its close uh, relationship to uh, basic science. What have we done in lung cancer in the last few years? Uh, the potential ways to treat people have improved rather dramatically in this disease. At Fox Chase, we have many of the clinical trials uh, that are looking at new uh, therapies for cancer, so it offers you other opportunities and approaches that you might not be able to get in a more community setting. You know, the kinds of research that I'm involved with are really clinical translational research, you know, focused in thoracic oncology, development of chemotherapeutic drugs to enhance the effects of immunotherapy, which are some of our newer agents, and make these different types of drugs interact in a way that'll benefit uh, patients, uh, move the field forward. I and my colleagues are really writing the papers. We're developing the knowledge. It gives a different level of understanding of the disease you know, that others might not have. We're at advisory boards for everything from National Cancer Institute, various pharmaceutical companies, et cetera. I try to spend a lot of time with people, particularly at the time of their initial diagnosis, going over what lung cancer is, what all the words mean, you know, it's a lot of terminology. It's a really difficult time. I've been with family members on the other side of the table, and I think, you know, you, you learn how to explain stuff. Explain what the treatments are, give a realistic view of the benefits, the risks, the side effects. We can now improve the cure rates in localized and locally advanced lung cancer substantially. We've certainly improved survival and quality of life for our patients with the developments of the last few years. There's really been more progress, I'd say, in the last five years than in the prior 50.